Thank you guys for tuning in to Speaks Tarot. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you would like to book a personal reading, please email me at speakstarot at yahoo.com. We're doing love readings for all Zodiac. The sign that we're on right now is Leo Gang Gang. Gang Gang. Spirit, what would you like to say when it comes to the Zodiac sign of Leo? I'm going to just take all of them. We got rejection. So someone's scared of rejection or maybe someone got rejection. Oh no, someone's scared of rejection because we got chemistry. And then we got true love and we got soul connection. Someone knows that this is a true love, a soul connection. This is chemistry. Leo, either this is how you feel about someone else or they feel about you. But you're scared of rejection or they're scared of rejection. Meaning they're scared to reach out. Um, Someone submit in. <laughs> Like, I instantly felt this energy. Someone is smitten with someone. Like, they don't want nobody else but you. Like, um, someone saying, like, I don't want no one else but you. Um, you're different. This is a true love soul connection. Come on, spirit. What else you got? It's fun, too. Like, this person or you see this person as being fun or maybe you both guys. I mean, both guys. Maybe both of you are comedians because I just laughed. I don't know. It wasn't even nothing funny. Spirit just made me laugh, like placed it upon me to laugh. We got commitment. God damn. I mean, excuse me. Um, cause I'm a Leo. I'm gonna claim this. Um, somebody wanna get somebody wanna propose. Some of you guys are about to get proposed to, or you or you um some of you guys may be already in a commitment and you're celebrating the anniversary. But if you're married. This is not for you. This is a reading for people that are single or in a relationship because this is marriage. Like, you already married, you already married. Y'all just got a good ass relationship. That's all that is. But, um, someone views you as end all be all. Like, they are no longer this shit shot out. They are no longer in a state of fucking confusion. This person is willing or ready to romance you, or this is you, Leo. On the bottom, we had differences, so somebody probably didn't want to reach out to you because y'all were different. Ooh, we got passion and caution. This person was caution because they never had this type of passion for someone, or maybe the sex that y'all had, they never you do. Yeah, maybe you gave this person some sex that they never fucking had, baby. And that would made them draw back. Because they like, I, they ain't never had none of this shit. You got open up, effort, respect, and healing. This connection is a healing connection. The, both parties have respect for each other. Both parties are going to make effort. And both, both parties are going to open up. Um, Just one person has to get the ball rolling. Who is it going to be, Leo? Who is it going to be you? Or is it going to be the person coming towards you? Say what resonates with you. If this is your story, reach out. I feel like this is my story, but I'm not reaching out. If that Negro want me, he'll reach out to me. They said, what? If that cancer... I thought a car... I'm, I'm not cheating, y'all. I'm trying to see if a car flipped over. I thought a car flipped over. Because I'm not reaching out to nobody. I ain't do no... I ain't, shit, I ain't do nothing. Okay, they didn't flip out. We got a spy on the bottom. This person watches you like a hawk. And you can trust that, Leo. Watches you like a hawk. <laughs> I'm nosy. Codependency. Yeah, someone's leaving a codependent relationship. Because they'll be, reg they'll be in deep regrets to not try this with you or explore this with you. Because they never had this. You got to love yourself first and true love come out of fucking again. And then we got playfulness. Yeah, this is a good, this is, I feel like this is where you can be yourself. Both parties can be themselves if they let go of control issues. And then it says attraction. It was in reverse, but I feel like um, this person was attracted to you. But this person or you, Leo, you had to love yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can't be, like, how can you? Love someone to be attracted to someone. You're not even attracted to yourself. But I feel like you let go of these damn control issues. And as you let go of these control issues, you started being attracted. Or something just made this person stand out more to you. We got forgiving and learning. And then on the bottom, we got honeymoon. Very soon. So with that being said, Leo, if you were like, ooh, damn. 
past life relationship, heart to heart conversations, and then it says romantic feelings. Get ready, Leo gang gang. Either this is you or someone's coming to let go of their damn control issues because they had to heal themselves and love themselves first, but they know that this is a true love. They know this is destined. They're going to make an effort to reach out to you to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Don't reject them. Hear them out. Don't be mean to them. Be nice. Be loving. This person watches you. This is a past life connection, meaning that you guys feel like you've known each other for a long time or when you get around each other, you just feel comfortable or you just feel as though you can be yourself. And that's how you know that you got a twin flame or a divine connection. If you would like to book a personal reading, please email me at sphinxtarot at yahoo.com. Or you can um, look me up on any of my social media pages. That's on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok as well. And I'm under there at Sphinx Tarot. Um, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend so we all can be friends. And, um... I do thank you for watching my channel. You guys have a beautiful day. I'm sending nothing but peace, abundance, and love, and wealth. Namaste.